This is a hand grenade. This is a tagging hand grenade and it's often used for airsoft and paintball but it is an actual pyrotechnical device and it works in very similar way than an actual hand grenade. There are many many different hand grenades but most of them work on the same principle. They have a safety spoon which you grab with your hand and they have the safety ring which keeps the spoon in place. Yes, now I can hold this hand grenade indefinitely and it will not go off unless I release the spoon. And yes, I can put the pin back in. This is an older training hand grenade, the M75, that was in use in Yugoslavian army and then later in Slovenian military. Depending on the use, it can have a metal body that will create shrapnel or a plastic body that will just create a big blast. It is filled with high explosives and there is a hole in the middle. The detonator will sit inside here and on the top it has a primer that when struck ignites the mixture in the detonator. The detonator itself has a slow burning compound in the upper part that gives you that 3 to 4 seconds of time when the fuse is ignited and then the lower part is a primary explosive that detonates the hand grenade. Now this is the mechanical striker and this part will hit on a primer when the spoon is released. So it's primed like this and the spoon is holding the striker. Now the striker is primed and ready and the only thing holding it back is the spoon here. The detonator would sit inside here and when I release the spoon it will release the striker which will hit the detonator. Even if you re release it just like this. I was told to always face the spoon part towards the palm of my hand and use the fingers to wrap around the hand grenade. And in this position I can then pull the pin and throw the hand grenade. Now if you're left-handed you can see the obvious problem. So in the Slovenian military they taught us two different techniques. One is that you just turn the hand grenade upside down and pull the pin like this and throw it in this way but the one that I prefer though I'm not left-handed is you grab the hand grenade as you would normally and then when you want to pull the pin you do this pull the pin and then throw it as you want this smoke grenade for example works by the same principle of ignition you pull the pin everything is okay and as long as you do not release the spoon it will not ignite two hours later. There are many different kinds of distraction devices or flashbangs as you know them. But fun fact, do you know that the flash in flashbang does not actually blind you? A lot of people think that's the case because of computer games and movies. But in reality, the flash produced from a flashbang is not that powerful, but it will still kind of blind you. And even if you're not looking directly into the grenade itself. The thing is that a real flashbang creates an enormous explosion and big overpressure. And if you are in the room when it goes off, it will immediately throw you into a state of shock. Actual physiological shock. You will not know where you are, you will be disorientated, most probably your eardrums will be ruptured and you will be super confused for 5 seconds. It does not actually blind you, but uh, kind of your brain shuts down and you get tunnel vision and you just cannot comprehend what's happening around you. One thing has always intrigued me. I heard it from the Yugoslav wars, but I bet they also use it elsewhere. Essentially a very simple booby trap. You set up the hand grenade in a glass in a way that it holds the spoon. You remove the pin and then you can set this on top of the door, for example. When someone opens the door, this will fall down the glass will break, the spoon will fly off, and the grenade will detonate. Oh look, a rifle! And you're fucked. So as you can imagine, there are a lot of different ways that you can use hand grenades to booby trap dead people, guns, and other stuff. I even heard that they put hand grenades under the anti-tank mines. So when someone wants to clear the area and digs up the anti-tank mine, 
there's a hand grenade under it. <laughs>